right, so here's the heavyweight contender, Curtis Razor Blades, Juco National Champion at Harper College as a collegiate wrestler, and he has been one of the more prolific takedown artists this heavyweight division has ever seen. Yes, he's a very big, very strong, very skilled wrestler, but don't sleep on the hands yeah. of Curtis Blades. In the Justin Willis fight, you saw the wrestling set up the overhand right that put Willis down, and you've seen that from Curtis Blades, a guy that's so good at that one skill that it opens everything else up. Curtis Blades is a beast in the heavyweight division. He was massively disappointed that that Francis Ngannou rematch didn't go his way, but to your point, turned around quickly, beat Justin Willis, and got right back on that path to contention. We'll see how it goes for Curtis Blades here tonight. because the wrestling threat was not so great. You gotta have that if you hope to compete and stay atop your division for a long time. Israel Adesanya has graced the octagon. He is ready to go. the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, to get us started now, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Curtis Razor. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world. Israel, the last dial bender, Adesanya. All right, Herb Dean, our referee Ready. for this one, just about Ready. to get underway. Good. All right, so another big spot here for Curtis Razor Blades. And if this fight was happening a few years ago, you would expect an early shot from Curtis Blades. But now that the striking has started to catch up with the wrestling, perhaps Blades will show his opponent a different look here early time. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a, a great double leg. Right to the knee on belly. Man, great job finding a way out, finding an escape to get back to your feet. Oh, inside kick. Oh, clean hook there. Just misses with the straight right. Gets 
post, he throws, he lands. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. All right, DC, half guard position here. You've done a lot of good work in this spot in your career. Oh, man, I love this position. And you see this fighter today loves it, too. It is the most secure position in fighting. You get an underhook on one side, you keep a half guard on the other, and then you just go to work. It's the safest position, especially for a wrestler. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Blades making these ground strikes count. Great job finding his shots from the top position. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following a game plan. Inside control, you got a ton of options. He goes knees on belly, gains great posture, and starts raining down punches. If his opponent does not move, this fight is gonna be stopped. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so there it is again. He's been very efficient with his ground and pound striking game tonight. And now they're starting to pile. He's starting to pile them together. Punch after punch, starting to land from the top position. 15 seconds remain in the round. Oh, you gotta love the ground and pound strikes here. Oh, his ground and pound is on full display here tonight. Oh, so saved by the bell. He was getting grounded and pounded something fierce there near the end of the round. You see, it's gonna take him a good chunk of these 60 seconds between rounds just to get back to his feet. So a big moment here at the end of the round. We'll see if he can recover in time to make the walk here for this next round. Round two now, Israel Adesanya and Curtis Razor Blades. Israel Adesanya, I don't even know what that was, but it certainly looked pretty, DC. This man brings so many different things to the table as a striker, and I would think would be a very difficult guy for his fellow middleweight contenders to prepare for. <laughs> Fighter connects there. Sonya is now dealing with a cheat cut. All right, then a left. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a come on. Lands a shot to the leg. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Nice loop and punch. Good takedown defense by Israel. Just over three minutes to go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Oh, effective use of the jab by Blades. He's throwing these punches in combination. Really dictate the pace to his opponent. All right, so he continues to land. And not exactly what we thought we would see in this one tonight. But the wrestler willing to stand and trade and prove to the able as well. Yeah, it's out of the ordinary. Usually this guy level changes to take it on very early in fights, but tonight he is showing that he is comfortable in the striking and he is on point with his striking. He's worked very hard to improve his stand-up skills and is showing right now. Oh, he lands a hook. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed. 
that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. Certainly found the target. Fifteen seconds. Inside the closed guard now. Coming in right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the map? Ready to fight? Ready. Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both got the offense going. But now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 59 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Israel, the last style vendor, Adesanya. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away.